Now we want to discuss the parable of the pounds in Luke 19, 11 through 27. As they were listening to this, he went on to tell a parable, because he was near Jerusalem and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. So he said, a nobleman went to a distant country to get royal power for himself and then return. He summoned ten of his slaves and gave them ten pounds and said to them, Do business with these until I come back. But the citizens of his country hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to rule over us. When he returned, having received royal power, he ordered these slaves, to whom he had given the money, to be summoned so that he might find out what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Lord, your pound has made ten more pounds. He said to him, Well done, good slave, because you have been trustworthy in a very small thing. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has made five pounds. He said to him, And you rule over five cities. Then the other came, saying, Lord, here is your pound. I wrapped it up in a piece of cloth, for I was afraid of you, because you are a harsh man. You take what you did not deposit, and reap what you did not sow. He said to him, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked slave. You knew, did you, that I was a harsh man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow? Why then did you not put my money into the bank? Then when I returned, I could have collected it with interest. He said to the bystanders, Take the pound from him and give it to the one who has ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to all those who have, more will be given. But to those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine who did not want to be king over them, bring them here and slaughter them in my presence. This parable immediately follows the story of Zacchaeus. As they were listening to this, connects the parable to the story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus can be considered a positive role model in the narrative of Luke, compared to the rich ruler earlier in the narrative who was a negative role model. Jesus had pronounced salvation on Zacchaeus who had given away half his wealth, though he still retained what would probably be a considerable amount. Now we have the parable of the pounds. This parable is quite different in that there is nothing in the parable about giving away wealth or being generous. The story develops a theme from the parable of the shrewd manager and that each of the slaves is given the task to take a pound and to invest it for the master. It is a familiar story. The one slave multiplies his pound into ten more. The second slave turns his pound into five. The third slave, however, buries his pound out of fear of his master. The master's response is that at least he could have put it in the bank as a minimum to collect interest, but failing to do that, he faces the harshest penalty. This is a difficult parable, and many have attempted to reinterpret it to reduce its force. Some suggest that this should not be applied to God or at all, but should be applied to Herod, uh, Antipas, but I think it's best to take this at face value. We have an obligation to be productive with the resources we are given. Let us conclude our discussion on this parable with a comment, again from John Snyder. Virtue for the two servants is not connected with an obligation to empower the poor. It is rather about their obligation to enter the world and by means of trade and investment to enlarge the master's power and dominion within it while he is away.